No bond for either man charged in connection with the Beverly carjacking caught on ring camera video. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey has the latest from court where prosecutors say the surveillance video is key to bringing charges. The whole thing was caught on camera, but identifying the suspects in that video was the real challenge here. Prosecutors said the 26 year old suspect identified himself in surveillance video and the 20 year old suspect was identified by his own father. It felt good to look him in the eye and just let him know that, you know, somebody's going to stand up to him. Jeff Pettiford was joined by a large group of friends and supporters in court Thursday. Pettiford's wife, Michelle, who was with their 12 year old daughter at the time, was ambushed in their driveway and ordered to the ground at gunpoint on November 2nd. <laughs> Jeff was also held at gunpoint before the men took off with his Audi and the keys to his Range Rover, which was then stolen off the street 12 days later. Yeah. Pettiford said his daughter said, Dad, you said they weren't going to come back, but they, come back, they came back. That was a difficult, difficult conversation to have with a 12-year-old girl. And then she said, I want them to know I'm standing up to them. Prosecutors say the two men in the video are 20-year-old Damari Connor and 26-year-old Kenneth Merritt. Both men were caught on CTA surveillance video in the same area wearing the same clothes. The same day, prosecutors say the men also used Jeff's stolen credit card at a gas station. When Merritt met with his parole officer on November 14th, he was confronted with the surveillance photos and prosecutors say he admitted he was at the crime scene and he was sorry that it got out of hand. Later that day, the couple's Range Rover was stolen from the street outside their home and was followed closely by a black Lincoln, which led detectives to a house where Connor was hiding in a closet. Investigators say Connor's father identified his son from surveillance photos, and he was taken into custody after resisting arrest. At 26th in California, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. Connor was already out on bond for a May case involving the unlawful use of a weapon. Merritt was still on probation after a 10-year stint in prison for armed robbery.